The Detroit Pistons flight crew is an acrobatic dunk team. This group makes the most sophisticated tricks look easy, but there are basic physics fundamentals in each soaring dunk. The jumps are a combination of the physics of jumping, parabolic motion, and the elasticity of the trampoline. Put it all together, and with a little skill, you can slam dunk from about 13 feet high. That's the combined height of Brandon Jennings and Andre Drummond. Now let's break down the physics of jumping from a standing position. The basic concept here is conservation of energy. When Andre Drummond is about to dunk, he bends his legs and just before he leaves the ground, his body is moving at maximum velocity or distance over time upwards. The next concept is work the product of the force with the displacement. Brandon's legs push the ground and the ground returns the favor with an equal and opposed force upwards that accelerates his center of mass. At this point, when Brandon's feet are about to leave the ground, all the work done by his muscles is in his upward motion and his kinetic energy is at a maximum. The larger Brandon's kinetic energy, the higher his jump will be. When he reaches the highest point, all his kinetic energy turns into potential energy. That's the energy necessary to lift all his weight, all 279 pounds of him, to the highest point. Thus, if Drummond only uses his legs to bend and extend, his kinetic energy at launch can only propel him to a couple of feet off the ground, but not much more. The flight crew can jump over 10 feet high, and that requires a large kinetic energy. So where do they get that extra energy from? The key is on the approach run and on the trampoline. As the runner approaches the trampoline, his velocity increases, reaching a large kinetic energy. Then he jumps towards the trampoline, which only temporarily stores part of the kinetic energy of the run. Part of the kinetic energy of the horizontal motion is converted into potential energy stored on the springs and on the surface of the trampoline. An instant later, the trampoline gives back the stored energy in the form of vertical motion. With the help of the trampoline, the runner splits the horizontal approach run into a vertical portion and a smaller horizontal portion. This energy exchange takes less than a second. That's faster than the second it takes for Drummond to explode from the floor to the rim for a monster dunk. Top a hot slam. For the energy exchange to be effective, the flight crew must hit the trampoline at the optimal angle. A jump from the appropriate distance will cause the body to lean backwards ever so slightly when it hits the trampoline. It is as though the center of mass has reflected from the trampoline. The remaining horizontal velocity with the vertical accelerated motion results in parabolic motion. The horizontal velocity remains constant during the jump in midair. When the flight crew reaches their highest point, the vertical velocity is zero. To give you an idea of how quickly this all happens, flight crew member Tornado rotates 720 degrees, complete with a dunk, in about two seconds. For this episode of Flight Crew Physics, I am Alberto Rojo.